Okay, we're going to learn some really good stuff here, folks. Holding too much of any one stock can be a risk to your portfolio. Now, how, do you, how does that work? Well, here to talk us through this and avoid the risk is certified financial planner and professional and financial quarterback, Jim Lineweaver. And you think, like, when you get that winning stock, man, you get on that horse and you just ride it. Yeah. But... Uh, it could be too narrow-minded, huh? Yeah, because you also you don't want to get greed in your portfolio, right? Greed. So yeah, so people get concentrated stock positions. They might have gotten lucky, ran up say a stock like Apple or something. Uh, but more often, we find executives that work for publicly traded companies. Part of their incentive is stock options that they get of their employer stock. So whenever you have a concentration of a stock that's over 25% of your total portfolio, then you're going to potentially run into problems. Because think about 15 years ago in the dot-com era, yeah, right. So you had a huge run-up in tech stocks, but within about 12 12 to 18 months, you lost 80 to 90 percent. You don't want that to happen to you. So are you talking about like, so you've got this great stock and it's really cranking for you. Are you thinking, are you talking about taking a chunk out of the stock and moving it to another place? Exactly. So you need to diversify. <clears throat> but the first question is you don't want to lose a lot of it to taxes, right? So how do you look at strategies to get to the end result of diversifying your portfolio? So as you know, we have our own tax company, but we've worked with other tax professionals in order to have a coordinated approach to look at other ways that can offset these taxes from the sale and get you properly diversified so you don't have so many eggs in one basket. Yeah, so it's, it's almost like I was thinking back to Tesla. Remember, people bought yeah. some of that Tesla stuff. And, or Apple. Like, yeah, you go back and, and it is a giant thing and, and it was a win, 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 win and they were just riding this thing and they didn't really know how to diversify yeah. and they needed somebody to help them. So we're, are we talking about just diversifying to other stocks or other items or how do you work that? Well, there's a couple things. On the tax side, you can look, you know, a lot of people that have this type of wealth are charitably inclined. So whether they want to give some stock to a charity ah. to offset the sale <clears throat> of the taxes, whether they want to set up like a donor advised fund to help other charities, but anything like that is going to help with the tax side of what they need to sell to diversify. Another thing though they, 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 they can look at doing is called direct indexing. So what this does is you would actually sell some of your stock, put it into, and let's say you pick the S&P 500. Maybe that manager is going to diversify that among 350 of those stocks, but daily, weekly, monthly, they're going to look at every opportunity to sell a stock that would be at a loss and those losses accumulate through the year, and at the end of the year, it offsets the gains of what you had to sell to get in there. So this sounds like an executive kind of situation. Yeah, it can be individual or not. You just have to have a professional do it. This is not something somebody can do on their own. Yeah, so you, ha you have to, so when, when, something, when something falls off a little bit and you know it's going to pop back up, then you maybe move to that thing that fell off a little bit, even yeah. though it looks like, well, it's losing right now, but you know somehow from studying all and all, your, your, all, all yeah, that so information you get. we have four chartered financial analysts <clears throat> that run our portfolios. But what ends up happening is just because you're generating losses on a portfolio doesn't mean that it's not making money. So we had several clients that had to diversify last year because of two biggest stock positions. The portfolio still made good tax-deferred growth, and at the same time, because of how the stocks were sold and, and tax loss harvesting along the way, they had losses to offset the sale. So another good way to do that. So really when you look at the whole big picture, I mean, you're making money, you could make money, you want to make money, but it all comes down to taxes in the end. Well, don't let taxes get in front don't. of the horse, you know, because right. you got to be careful. Because at the end of the day, if you pay taxes, you still got profit in your bank, right? So you can look at option strategies to also set a price of floor. They say, boy, if that stock drops below X, you want to get out. There's also something called exchange traded funds where you can exchange the stock for another basket of stocks, immediately diversify. And as long as you're, you're kind of held up on those, those because you can't sell anything for about five to seven years. But if you do it, another way to diversify, not pay any capital gains now, but you wouldn't have so many eggs in one basket. You know, it's funny sitting right here, folks. It's, it's like genius. You know, I hear he's running all this stuff at me, and, and, and you'll be the first to admit that you've got a team, yes. that, a, a team that helps put all this together because one guy just can't wrangle all this stuff. No. One can no. lead, though. So, yes, I'll lead it. I'll be the quarterback, but i got to have that team. <laughs> you are the quarterback. Yeah. 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 Really okay, scary. folks, so great ideas for executives who may hold these kinds of positions in their portfolios or for those who have experienced significant growth. Just call Jim and his team today if you have questions. And don't miss the Financial Quarterback Sunday mornings leading into Fox News Sunday, a good show, always great items there. Thank you very much. Always good to see you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Nelly?